Hi kiddos, it's Riley, and I would say I'm back with another Adri video for you, but today it is not really going to be an Adri video. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a life update, a little bit of an insight as to what's been going on with me and to why I didn't really upload this week. There has been a lot going on. This time of the year is freshly very difficult for me for a couple different reasons that I'm not going to get into, but because of that I'm having a hard time. And I want to preface this with a trigger warning and say I will be talking a lot about mental health and mental illness in this video. So if you are sensitive to that or topics like psychosis, hallucinations, self-harm or suicide urges, I would recommend not watching this video. You don't need to unnecessarily trigger yourself just by hearing me explain why I've been gone. A week ago and coming into only a few days ago, I was dealing with a full-blown psychotic break. I actually have a whole video I did about that that I filmed in a dissociative days that I didn't realize that I filmed until I saw it on the memory card, but that video about the psychotic break and the details about that is up on my main channel if you are interested in watching that. I will link it below. But I had a psychotic break, so hallucinations, delusions, distortions. It was, it was not a good time. It was really, really scary. And some of you also may have noticed that I haven't really been active in the last couple of weeks on my regression social media. I haven't really been active on any social media as of late just because of the mental health stuff that I am going through. I don't really feel the need to bring other people down or trigger other people unnecessarily. And I have a good enough support network in my life and some online where I don't need to blast my mental state constantly on my regression socials and in reality I don't want to do that because regression social media is a safe space for a lot of people myself included and talk about these topics especially without warning can be distressing and because I'm dealing with a trauma anniversary it's been about a year since my grandmother passed away and with the psychotic things and then coupled with just overwhelming suicidal and self-harm urges. Do not worry though, I am safe. I am physically safe, I promise you, I'm good. And I know to reach out for help and get help if I need it. A good example of this is uh, day two of the psychotic break when I could not be alone. I literally called my mom and she drove across the state to sit with me that day because I could not be alone. And that was really helpful. But I, I do know to reach out for help and I'm not saying this as like an attention grabbing thing. It's just something I experience, something I deal with, and the reason I like talking about it is because I don't want other people to feel they're alone in dealing with that. So it's been a lot of that, and because of this and the type of traumaversary and everything, regression has been hard for me lately. When it's happened, it has come in and out very quickly. And usually when I sit down to film like a Regress With Me video and stuff, I'm able to, but I usually only film those videos on days where I'm already feeling pretty regressed. Otherwise, I'll film a more educational video or sit down chatty video like this. I totally just lost my train of thought. That really, that really signifies what I've been going through. I just lost everything I was talking about. And I'm gonna rewatch this when I edit it, and it's gonna be a disaster because I'm gonna be like, Riley, how did you forget that? I don't know. It It's part of the dissociative days. But regression has been difficult, and a lot of the times when it has come up, even for brief periods of time, it has been impure. And while I do share content on impure regression, I don't like posting while I am impurely regressed because of the kinds of things that I deal with during that time are quite upsetting and a lot of times my regressed brain does not have the forewarning to trigger warn things. So I have just been keeping off of those social medias lately because I don't want to bring any kind of negativity or like bad vibes vibes into the online community because that's the last thing the Adri community needs is bad vibes and I don't want to be the cause of that. <laughs> but because of that it's been 
pretty hard lately. Coping has been really difficult. I am managing. I'm on day two of feeling better mentally. I don't feel great physically today though. I am physically sick today, which sucks. But I would rather be physically sick than be mentally sick, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what's been going on. I just, hard mental health stuff. That's why I've been a little bit absent from here and that's why I've been absent from my social media. And don't worry, I'm not leaving the social media. I will come back to it. I don't know when, I don't know when I'm gonna be ready to. And I have gone in and checked in every couple of days to just, you know, check DMs, mentions, that kind of thing. But spending time on that social media just seems like it's not the place for me right now so I am honoring that and just avoiding it for right now. If you guys are also dealing with mental health issues, I know with the seasons changing, um, a lot of people with seasonal issues are struggling right now, or whatever your reason if you're struggling. I'm sorry you're struggling, but you are not alone in that. Trust me, I'm right there on the struggle bus with you. And hopefully next week I will be feeling back to myself it usually takes a while for me to recover from psychotic stuff, and I've never had one last even longer than 24 hours before, so the fact that it was about a week was extremely difficult. So hopefully I'll be back posting my regular content. As always, if you have any video ideas, just DM them to me on Instagram. That is the best place for me to see them. If you want to see actual age regression content from me, you can subscribe to this channel because I do try to post a couple of times a week over here. My Instagram is at crayons and pencils and my Twitter is at crayon kiddo. You can follow me there if you want to keep up with me day to day. Also, my birthday's coming up. My birthday's on November 5th. I'll be 22. So if you wanted to spoil a baby a little bit or just get me a small gift or send me a tip, there are links to my Ko-Fi and my wish list down in the description. Don't forget that I have merch. It's also linked below. And I wanted to give the biggest shout out ever to Baby Baddie on Instagram for helping me get my very own Nintendo Switch Lite. So with this, as soon as I can afford a capture card, get ready for some Animal Crossing and maybe other game content. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I've never really had a gaming system. I have a DS, but I never played it that much other than Animal Crossing, so I'm excited to play with this. Thank you so much, Baby Batty. And Jerry, of course, for buying me the game. I love you guys so very much. I hope you're feeling okay, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.